Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video, and I just want to say real quick a big thank you to Hi, I'm Friendly on Discord and the web forum. Uh, and basically, what he gave me today was access to the sort the IPA file. Sorry, had to burp it. Random. Um, the IPA file, which is basically the same as an APK, but for iOS. So the IPA file allows you to install the game onto an iOS device if you're a developer or jailbroken. And what this basically allows me to do is see how the app works because I can open it up just like a zip file, just like an APK file. I can open it up, I can dig through things, and I can show you what's inside of the Rush Racing 2 app for iOS to explain it. So first of all, Basically here, all we have is a bunch of user interface elements. There's not much really here that's exciting, except for maybe the fact that they are, they are actually going to convert to a um, an actual gauge for uh, RPMs instead of having a like the dotted line thing. They're actually going to have an RPM gauge. So this is the only new thing that I've seen that is not the same as the Facebook version. People cannot convert their accounts from Facebook to the iOS version right now. I told them in a comment on like my fourth Facebook that they've now blocked from their uh, Facebook page. I told them that you need to make this as simple as possible or you're going to get a lot of cranky people and unfortunately probably lose a lot of your Facebook player fan base. But... At the moment, you still can't transfer your Facebook to the iOS version, which is utterly stupid. And that's really it. So the other thing, the only real thing that I want to point out to you guys is... Where'd it go? Where did it go? Uh, hold on a second here. <laughs> Uh, the folder's gone. I lost a folder. Give me one second. Never mind, I'm an idiot. So the other thing that I want to just show you guys or tell you guys about is exactly how this app works and why it either A, still runs like crap, like playing it through the Facebook app, or B, why it probably actually runs well on your device. So as you have just saw, all the actual physical assets are in this folder called Racing 147 Assets. So nothing's loading from a server. I'm sitting here talking with my hands and pointing at shit like I like you can see me. You can't. Um, nothing physical loads from the server. The only thing that the app does is communicate with the server. So it knows, hey, display these wheels. Display this wrap. Player has such and such amount of money. This is their username. This is how many gems they are. That's all the app really does. And one thing that I want to say is I definitely called it I definitely did because these these developers are not smart enough to make an app. This app could have been made by somebody watching a YouTube tutorial video. The actual game and your installed application is nothing more than a web browser. Basically all they did was make an app that is just missing the Facebook integration. They took away Facebook, made a web browser, and gave you a game. That's all this is. And you can actually go in and you can just simply like view this index.html page. You can just view it with Firefox. Granted, the game does not load. I will say that. It does not load. Um, I'll mess with it and I'll probably get it to load. <laughs> because, you know, we, we know me. I'll probably get it to load. But as of right now, that's how the game works. It's nothing more than a fancy web browser. And that's exactly how it's going to be on... Uh, Android as well. It's going to be nothing more than a fancy web browser. So you're basically supporting people who used a basic YouTube video tutorial to make an app and then sell it to you. This, These developers are idiots. This would be borderline the same as me recreating Racing Rivals. Ow, my teeth hurt. That's interesting. Anyway, um, really, there's not much else to show in this IPA file. There's not much modding that can be done in this. Um, well, 
there probably is, but as far as that's concerned, it's not something that I can really explain because I don't have an iOS device to test it anyway. If I can get my hands on like someone's spare iPad or something like that, that is iOS 13, I'll look into modding. But as of right now, I'll probably wait until the Android version releases or continue modding the PC version and have the bot release here in the next few days. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.